Dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, is central to the process of androgenetic alopecia, more commonly known as male pattern baldness. While both serum and scalp DHT levels are significant when studying this condition, they serve different purposes and are reflective of how different biological processes occur. Scalp DHT specifically refers to the DHT levels in the scalp tissue where the hair follicles reside. Elevated levels of DHT on the scalp directly correlate with miniaturization of hair follicles, a defining characteristic of androgenetic alopecia. When DHT binds to the androgen receptors in these follicles, it instigates a process that shrinks the follicles over time, leading to thinner hair and eventually hair loss. Contrastingly, serum DHT provides a general overview of DHT levels throughout the body, but it might not accurately represent activity, DHT activity that is, in the scalp. For instance, an individual could have standard serum DHT levels, but significantly higher scalp DHT levels, positioning them at a risk for androgenetic alopecia. Conversely, a reduction in serum DHT doesn't always equate to diminished scalp DHT. This distinction is crucial since many treatments for androgenetic alopecia like finasteride and dutasteride aim to reduce scalp DHT levels to directly preserve and improve hair follicle health. But it tends to be the reality that when you impact serum DHT levels, you are going to also impact scalp DHT levels as well. However, the same reduction you get in serum is not going to be reflective in scalp DHT levels.